Good afternoon. My name is Marjorie Linton and I am an ordained minister of religion, author, motivational speaker, and a spiritual advisor with over 20 years experience. Welcome to my podcast, Healing Thoughts Today. Please join me now as I share workable views for healing and inspiration to empower you and to lift your vision higher. The power of the Christ within is the healing thought today. And I do hope you are ready to partake of the abundance of God's kingdom right there within you. Sometimes we take things for granted, not really realizing our worth. When we encounter difficulties in life, we sigh and we fret. We run here and we run there seeking outside help. When we have a rich resource of good right within us. Even when the storms of life assail us, we have what it takes to overcome. We have what it takes to stand firm in the midst of trials, my friends. No matter who you are, or no matter what possessions you have, storms will prevail, even though we have what it takes to overcome them. We have the power to quiet the storm, my friends. There is only one presence and one power in your life and in the world, God, the good omnipotent. In Matthew chapter 8, the disciples on the boat who feared the storm realized that Jesus, whom they thought was asleep, was very much awake. When they called out to him for help, he calmed the storm and he told them that they had the power to do the same if their faith had been not so weak. Beloved friends, we are all made in the image and the likeness of God. Therefore, our essence is of God and we are inherently good. Although we are one with God and one with each other, we are also individual expressions of God. So, our paths are different. We therefore attract individual experiences for our own growth process. And we encounter our own individual storms. The ways in which we experience God are basically the same, however through conscious awareness or through the unfolding of consciousness activated by prayer and meditation, the connecting link to God. In our humanity, we go through individual experiences to gain insights into the laws of life. We make mistakes and we fall short, often engaging in error thinking. But our circumstances can be changed any time through our thinking. We can instantly be reconnected with the divine source, which is always and forever the same. Yes, today, today, or tomorrow, by acknowledging our Christ presence within us, Hannah Moore Kohas says it all in the unity poem all things i am can do and be through christ the truth that lives in me amen all it takes my friends is a change of thinking romans 12 verse 2 says be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. 
we experience Christ consciousness, when we stay connected to the true source. Jesus says in John 15 verse 5, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. We are constantly plagued with outer distractions, fear, doubt, and anxiety as hardships and uncertainties face us. And the challenge that we have is to stay connected. But we can do it, my friends. We were made equipped to deny the forces of negation, which so often tempt us. Jesus, who brought into full expression his true divine nature, is our way shower. And when we follow his examples, we can bring into expression our own divine nature and experience the Christ consciousness. The Christ within you is the perfected idea of truth. And Jesus exemplified this by crossing out error consciousness and overcoming death. We can do the same when we are connected to the divine source, Jesus the Christ. He says in John 14 verse 12, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Amen. So, in the real sense, the Christ in you is a state of consciousness, achievable because of Jesus the Christ. Jesus showed us how we can achieve Christ consciousness by crossing out error and affirming the truth. When we recognize and acknowledge this truth, we can access divine powers that assure us of peace of mind, health of body, love that includes the service and the plenty in affairs. Amen. This state of consciousness, my friends, is known as the higher self, which Paul describes in Colossians 1.27 as the mystery among the Gentiles, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Amen. As individuals, we're all blessed with divine faculties of love, imagination, power, judgment, understanding, zeal, faith, life, order, wisdom, strength, and power. And we're all governed by divine principle. When we function in tune with divine mind, we express the qualities of divine love, peace, compassion, and joy. And we make wise choices and we demonstrate good. In Matthew chapter 16, Simon Peter, the disciple, was lauded by Jesus as being very discerning when he saw Jesus as the Christ. Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? He asked the disciples. They answered, some say John the Baptist, some Elias, some Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But whom do you say I am? Jesus asks them. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God, Simon Peter declared. Jesus then changed Simon's name to Peter which symbolizes rock. And he told him, Blessed are you, Simon Peter. Your answer could only be revealed by my Father which is in heaven. This kind of faith is what is necessary to build my church so that it will stand firm despite the storms of life. Because of your intuitive ability, 
I will give you the keys to the kingdom, Jesus told Peter. We have what it takes to be like Peter, my beloved friends. But we must be connected. We can all create our world of good by applying the principles of truth. And we will receive power from on high. Acts 1 verse 8 says, but he shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witness to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Amen. We can all access the keys to the kingdom of health, wealth, goodness, and peace in all aspects of life, my friends. Each of us may be different in our character traits, but we are all one with God, who is all-knowing, all-present, and all-powerful in each one of us. He lives within us, and He is the source of all our good. We're all individuals on a spiritual journey with individual experiences for our highest good. And we all have our individual ways to shine from within. When we function in tune with divine mind, our minds are open to discern the truth. And our hearts are open to receive the abundance of God's kingdom. Divine ideas are our divine heritage, my friends. They are always available and they are unlimited. We don't have to be like anyone else, nor do we have to compare our achievements with others. We don't have to be copycats either. It is in all of us to be wise. Don't outshine anyone other than yourself. Open up to the flow of divine life, my friends. Trust the process and create your own reality. There is no limit to God and there is no limit to us, his children. There is a vast world of opportunities awaiting us all. Be conscious of who you are and your divine purpose and exercise your individuality. If I ask each of us to draw a mental picture of a chair, I am pretty sure each one of us would come up with a different design. This is because of our individuality. We were not created automatons we all get our divine inspiration from the one source god the good but we can use our creativity in individual ways to create our world of good amen and now beloved friends let us look at some points for contemplation of God. Even when the storms of life assail, we have what it takes to overcome. Our essence is of God. We are inherently good. We're all individuals, each on a spiritual journey with individual experiences for our highest good. We experience God through conscious awareness or through prayer 
and meditation. Jesus brought into expression his true divine nature. And through his examples, we can achieve Christ consciousness. The Christ within is the perfected idea of truth, which Jesus exemplified by overcoming death. With the awareness of the Christ consciousness, we can be assured of peace of mind, health of body, love, which includes the service and the plenty in affairs. When we function in tune with divine mind, we express qualities of divine love, peace, compassion, joy, and we make wise choices. Divine ideas are our heritage. When our minds are in tune with divine mind, our minds are opened to discern the truth and our hearts are open to receive the abundance of the kingdom of God. There is no limit to God and there is no limit to us, his children. There is a world of opportunities awaiting us all. We all get our ideas from the divine source. As individuals, we use our creativity to create our world. We were not created automatons. Amen. And now, beloved friends, please join me for the call to action. I invite you now to take your attention away from all outer activities and focus on the holy place within you. Clear your mind of all unwanted thoughts and distractions and focus on the one presence and the one power God is the good, omnipotent. Let the presence of God fill you and use you. You are in control of your mind and you always have a choice to create your life based on your perception and your belief. Whatever you believe is your experience. In the silence of your soul, experience the power of God's love right now where you are. Take some time in the silence to let healing flow in mind and prosperity in affairs. Support your healing now, my friends, by nurturing and accepting positive attitudes. All things are possible with God when you work with God. Just remind yourself every moment of the day that the power of God within you is mighty to heal, prosper, and bless any condition or circumstances in your life. In the quietness of this moment, open yourself now to receive the abundance of the universe and give God thanks that through the power and the presence of the Christ Spirit within you, you have what it takes to demonstrate your world of good. Amen. Beloved friends, it was such a blessing sharing with you on this topic of the Christ within. Continue to experience and demonstrate the goodness of God always. Please like and subscribe.